hello guys okay so today we'll be looking at how we, how we can start learning on Khan Academy how we can start introduction to programming on Khan Academy so to go to Khan Academy open your browser either Chrome Firefox or Opera but I prefer you use Chrome H K H A N A C A D E M Y dot com it doesn't take time to load you can see this is Khan Academy so their main website is .org because they are um, a kind of uh, non-profit organization like that. Um, to start um, learning from Khan Academy, you first need to have account on Khan Academy. But quickly go uh, ahead to create account. So is it that you are a learner, you are a teacher, or you are a parent? Okay, um, because this is for learning. I will pick. I'm a learner. Then what is your date of birth? Put your date of birth and other things. So after that, um, I want to pick. My date of birth, I am born 3rd of March 1995. Okay, so after that, it will request you to use your um, either Gmail account, sign up, continue with your Google account, or you sign up with email. I always encourage people don't do this on any kind of website, don't continue with your Google account, your Facebook account, or your Apple account. It is risky if this website should be hacked tomorrow your information is at risk as well so click on sign up with email so i'm going to sign up with email so um let me say i want to do um for technophiles academy technophiles academy the reason why you need to put your birthday at the, the reason why you need to put your birthday from the beginning is to know the kind of courses they are going to recommend to you okay technophiles academy at gmail.com so my first name is Nurudin. Last name is Kamaludin. Okay, so um, for this purpose of this, I will just create password. Create a strong password only you can remember. Okay. So after that, click on sign up. So a mail will be sent to you. So let me quickly log in the my Gmail account. Okay. So make sure you you can save your password to your system, although it's normal, it's somehow risky, but you can still save it to your system. So you can see we have the primary or elementary learning, we have the secondary or high school learning, we have the university or adult learning. Okay, they will ask you to pick a grade which you want. They want to personalize what they are going to show to you. So they will ask you to pick um, a particular grade which you want to learn from so uh let me just pick others and you can now start to pick the stuff you would like to learn from here so i will scroll down to because i want to deal with um programming for this tutorial i will scroll down and locate computer programming you can see computer programming computer programming and if you are um, a computer science student, pick science student, okay, computer science rather, you can make your research about all this. I don't know everything yet, so you can make your research about this, and you can also look at other subjects that you may be interested in, maybe maths, you are interested, if you are interested in maths, science, you can see middle school biology, and other science subjects, science related subjects, so pick anyone, so because I want to personalize this to only programming i'm going to uncheck computer science oh let me even leave computer science and computer programming now click on continue okay so now what i am going to what is going to appear here now is courses that i'm going to take under computer science and computer program you can see it is showing zero because i have not taken any course there but they are telling you if you click on that um you'll be seeing your progress here let me go back You'll be seeing your progress around here. So let's start with computer programming. Okay, we have this is computer programming. In case you just want to start computer programming directly, once you click on computer programming, this is how computer programming is going to start. Okay, so in the next class, I'll walk you through how you can start taking this course and how you can be, um, how you can avoid um, some kind of errors which may come your way. So see you in the next class.